Welcome back to Football Freestyler. We're on the beach again to find out about another Brazilian football variation. Another famous game here in Rio is a game called Altino. I've hooked up with a few local players who are going to tell us a bit more about it. Lads, can you tell us about the game of Altino? Altino tem como objetivo de você manter a bola no alto durante o tempo que você conseguir. Como só deixar a bola no alto é uma coisa que vai perdendo a graça, a gente opta por jogar de forma mais agressiva. E cortando no jogador da frente, levantando a bola para o outro. Isso envolve a gente cada vez mais, o dia está sempre lindo e não tem como não se esforçar para correr atrás de uma bola. Normalmente, quem estiver na praia, vai entrar, igual você que entrou. Tipo, não tem perdedores, vencedores, não tem o sistema de... Quem quiser entrar, pode entrar e ninguém sai perdendo e ganhando. Taxi! 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 The old chin. Chin's on, I'll call it. Always gets them. I'm no Pamela Anderson. That was one end of Rio, now it's time to see the other. We're off to the favelas. The favelas are Rio's slum districts, built on steep slopes overlooking the tourist beaches. But they're places tourists never go. And for good reason, Manjwira, where I'm off to, is run by drug gangs. No police allowed. We had to get permission from the gangs to get in and film. So I'm a bit nervous. But in the middle of this ghetto, there's a football project sponsored by Flamengo. It runs all week and takes kids away from the favelas' problems. That evening, I've caught up with the organisers. So what's life like in a favela here? É, a vida aqui na favela é aquela que você viu. Se as crianças não estão aqui, elas vão praticamente estar ligadas ao lado mal, né? O tráfico, as coisas erradas da vida. Então esse projeto é justamente para a gente agregar as crianças aqui e mostrar para ele o outro lado. There's the bad side, but then there's also the good part. This is a big family. And people leave the doors open, they share everything. And uh, being a kid here is uh, nice because they have a lot of friends. It's a big family. So if you had like three, five thousand cousins. So do you think these kids get a good opportunity to sort of go on to professional clubs? Everybody plays football, so it's really hard. But I really think one day we'll have some kids uh, playing at professional level. Nossa sua visita aqui pra gente foi uma coisa até que importante, porque muitos aí já vão pra internet saber quem é você. E realmente é o tráfico de entorpecentes se não tiver esses projetos. Bye bye, mate. Take care, yeah. Pleasure. To Unbelievable. Meet. The conditions they're in playing over there is just awful, and they're, they're just kicking the ball like it's on perfect pitch. I've seen some of the best players I've ever seen at that age. It's just unbelievable. I'm off deeper into the favela to put on a little show for the locals to say thank you. Yeah. 
I tell you, it don't take much to put a smile on them kids' faces. Great kids, great family as well. It's unbelievable. Amazing stuff. Can't believe they live like that. It's just, yeah, it makes me feel very lucky to live in England. That was Rio one crazy place. Now we're off to the urban heart of Brazil, Sao Paulo, to meet their biggest freestyle crew. Sao Paulo is the capital of Brazil and home to a staggering 20 million people. I'm on my way to the national stadium to meet the city's number one crew, Shoda Bola, who might actually be madder than me. Brazil, Brazil. Join with me now is Diego. So Diego, tell us about yourself, mate. Oh, my name is Diego. I practice freestyle for five years, more or less. Well, I started to practice freestyle watching Ronaldinho in commercials on TV. Comecei a treinar para competições também. E, pô, isso foi surgindo trabalhos, fazendo. Andei fazendo comerciais de televisão bastante já. E ralando aí com o time aí, graças a Deus tá dando dinheiro, dando bastante sucesso, crescendo cada vez mais, divulgando futebol freestyle aí por todo o Brasil e o mundo. Do you think freestyle is different here in Sao Paulo and Brazil to the rest of the world? Bom, o, o brasileiro ele tem a diferença que é a ginga, né? Não só no futebol, como no freestyle também. A gente tem aquele molejo, truques criativos também. Pô, a gente gosta de usar peito, de fazer bastante truques. When Brazilians talk about ginga, they're not referring to my hair. Jinga is a way of moving that is uniquely Brazilian and comes from the art of capoeira, combining martial arts and dance moves. Brazilians describe themselves as being born with Jinga and exhibit it in dance, football, freestyle and everyday life. Cada lugar realmente é diferente, mas o brasileiro, o estilo brasileiro é único. O estilo brasileiro é único. Não dá pra comparar com ninguém, não. Now it's time to meet Marissa Sincha, who's flying the flag for female freestyle. So do you think you get treated any differently, obviously being a girl in freestyling? Não, não, não tem diferença entre o homem e a mulher, a gente sempre está treinando junto, eu com os meninos e sempre sou muito bem recebida com eles, aprendo com eles, isso é muito importante, eu estou adorando praticar o futebol. Can you do any tricks that the guys can't do? Bom, tem um, um truque com a bola, que eu, eu jogo para a sola com a bola girando. Yeah. So do you think freestyle is going to get bigger in Brazil and do you reckon there's going to be more ladies doing it? Já vejo essa evolução das meninas aqui no Brasil. Tem já crescer assim, com certeza vem me perguntar, vem querer aprender, isso é muito legal. Nice. Next up is Kevin, who has come into freestyle from a football background, having been on the books of Corinthians until he was released last year. Does it help you in the game, do you think, freestyle? Mais ou menos. Eu parei futebol para jogar freestyle. 
Mas o freestyle me ajuda, me ajuda bastante no, no jogo, conseguir mais raciocínio e mais velocidade com a bola dentro do campo. O final membro do show de bola crew é Key, que é um brasileiro freestyler com uma diferença. Key, hoje eu estou olhando para todos os outros boys, mate, e você tem um estilo muito unique. Style. Can you tell us a bit about that? Sim, meu estilo agora é totalmente diferente dos brasileiros e eu me inspiro nos, nos freestyle japoneses. Just as we were finishing up, guessing made an appearance. None other than the legend himself. You speak Portuguese? Uh, no, no, just How English. come? How English. come? <laughs> of course. <laughs> I was in England now. Oh, excellent. Well, good oh, luck good. To you. Thank you very much. Cheers. Good luck. Congratulations. Nice bye bye. Bye bye. Pele, how about Pele? What a lovely bloke. Next time on Football Freestyler, I go to Poland to check out some guys with seriously fast feet, as well as performing the pre-match show at the not-so-quiet Krakow Derby.